This is Orthos here, and um, today I'm going to be doing a guide on how to use Fraps and Windows Live Music Maker to produce HD videos. Now, first off, what you want to do is you want to you want to go to your Fraps, you want to go to Movies, and optimally, what you want to do is you want to put it on 30 FPS. That's just pretty obvious that it doesn't destroy your frame rate unless you've got a really good computer. I would recommend 30 FPS. You don't need much higher than that un unless you want to make ridiculous high quality videos. Then the file size gets a lot bigger. Now for this video obviously I'm, I'm recording external input as well as the Windows audio sound in stereo. That just ensures that your audio quality is high as possible. Now, um, as well for this video, if you ever wanted to record your desktop, you got to go down here and monitor Aero Desktop. So then it does actually record your desktop as well. Now, once you actually have your video completed, oh, Windows Live Movie Maker. Now, what first off, what you want to do is you want to add your videos or your photos. You can either click there, drag them into this box, or click on this box. Now, for this one, I'm just going to lob in a, a random outtake where it just completely failed. Um, now, once you've actually got it in here, first thing you want to do to make sure, especially if you're recording in widescreen, make sure that it is actually going to encode in widescreen. Otherwise, you get a big box around your uh, your video, and it looks stupid. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the video doesn't have any mistakes in it. You know, you you want to trim it down like a little bit, make sure it's not too long. You know, um. Also, people, some people don't know how to um take out like individual sections. Like right now, you see here, I open up my um my file. So what I'm gonna do is. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to split that there, split that there, and there you go, I've just taken out like an individual section. So I've just cut that down by 5 seconds, and I could have just like removed a mistake. It's a really sort of quick and easy way of you not to like edit out certain sections, and the rest have been fine. Now, once you've actually done all that, make sure that, say, say for example, you were doing like a commentary over it. What you want to do is you, you want to turn down your video volume, or perhaps edit it at certain sections, or add like a fade on your um, on your audio quality. Just add like, like a couple of seconds or something, just so then you can add a sort of like a fade in on your audio, or if you're going to be doing like a sort of like commentary at the very very start, so you want to make it fade in it first, so then they can't hear like this on the background. Say for example you're doing like a playthrough. You can then monitor the um, the volume of the actual game in the background as well. Now, once once all of that's done, you go over to this one, look on Save Movie. Now, this is where you check this is where you pick pick your options. I generally choose 1080p, but in the past couple of videos, I picked for 720p because on YouTube, 720p streams a lot better. But for this video, we're doing it 1080p. Now, you just name it whatever. As you can see in this, I have a lot of footage ready. <laughs> now, you just have to wait for this to be complete. Um, in a minute, we'll be going over to YouTube. Now, once your video is encoded, what you want to do is you want to go over to YouTube. Yeah, you know. <laughs> go and upload. Upload video. Select the, um, the video from your file. I chose the adept name of ASD, 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 because I'm cool like that. Tap in a description, you know. Type in some adept tags to the video to make sure that people actually watch the video if they search for it. Well, sorry, they'll actually get the video when they search for it. No, they will watch the video. Maybe they'll watch the video. If it's good enough, they will watch the video. People will come. And make sure that you save the changes afterwards. Now, I'm going to cancel this video because it's just pointless. But if you actually upload the video, then for a while after you uploading, YouTube will have to process that video. Now, dependent on whether you did 720p or 1080p, and how on and on the length of the video, it will dictate how long it'll take. But generally, I'd give it a good five ten minutes before you expect your video to actually be in HD, and people to be able to actually view it in HD. So, I hope that the um the vi this vi this video helped you, and um.
Thanks for watching.